Howdy, y'all. Pete here. Just wanted to record yet another video about Dio Odalecki, a friend of mine and perhaps of yours, who is currently caged in Parma, Ohio. I took a moment and wrote Dio just another quick little letter, so I wanted to read that just to share it in case, you know, again, it, it motivates you to uh, send Dio some love via a letter of your own. The address is listed in the video description and uh, or to at least become more familiar with the situation or even more than past that to realize the um, pattern of injustice that is the reality of the criminal justice system which uh, again is a monopoly backed by coercion by the use or threat of force there's no way that justice can ever come from an institution like that there's no way that people who claim to protect you that first steal your money to do so uh, will ever protect you, will ever be there. They have no duty to protect you. So uh, in Dio's situation, again, he was merely looking out for the well-being of his neighbors and those in his community. Um, Dio's caged because he held a sign warning other drivers, warning drivers of a checkpoint around the corner and uh, also for filming uh, a police interaction and uh, again this is uh, just speaks to the level of injustice that uh, exists and will exist in this apparatus until it, until uh, it's defunded until it's delegitimized and that starts with each of us you know with our ideas one mind at a time and also with our actions what uh, currencies we choose to uh, utilize perhaps I would encourage you to investigate and uh, pursue the use of cryptocurrencies instead of Federal Reserve notes uh, where at all possible uh, just to again take the uh, take the power away from these criminals and their and their gangs so without further ado I'm going to read this letter to you and uh, enjoy Okay, so it starts out, uh, it's dated March 25th. I wrote this yesterday. It says, Dio, my brother, and Uncle Dio to others. That's a term of endearment Dio earned, uh, just being a friendly guy to some folks, uh, Uncle Dio, some people call him. It was good to know that you received my last letter and to hear your response through Ademo. Uh, Ademo Freeman, if you're unaware, has been visiting Dio and uh, keeping up on the shipping of Cop Block merch, which, which Dio had uh, for the previous uh, year and a half or so been uh, spearheading himself. I thought it was really cool to hear what Monica communicated to you and Monica is Dio's wife. She's been supportive of him and uh, passing along her support and love. Can I do anything for her? So what the hell is up with this paper? You're probably wondering. It's a page from a planner I use. I was adding as a to-do to write you to write to you and then said to myself what better moment than now? Just wanted to let you know that I often think about you and your present inability to exercise your right to freedom of movement. No act of your own is cause for such caging, but it's like that saying. What is the one thing someone else cannot take from you without you giving it up? To which a response could be your mind or your sanction or something similar. So though your phys physical body is caged, your mind is not. By the way, I chose this page, each page is different, because I like the imagery, the balloon floating creature above. As to me, it could symbolize you rising above the injustice system and its unthinking actors. Do you find yourself missing any particular tunes? I know that uh, for myself, when I've been caged, I uh, often find that I think about some music and really miss uh, the value that it can bring. I hope to see you soon, but it won't be a pork fest. Not because you won't have the ability, but because we decided not to go. And pork fest is an annual event held each summer in New Hampshire. It's part of the Free State Project. And the we is myself and my partner Amanda. It's a real shame, as it's akin to a big family reunion. But apparently, unwelcoming such a positive person, Ian Freeman, uh, who's a friend who lives in Keene, New Hampshire, who's host co-host of Free Talk Live, uh, the nationally syndicated radio show. Uh, so such a positive person, Ian Freeman, is thought to be 
proper by those at the helm. So, peaceful disassociation, voting with our scarce time and treasure, and reputation is our go-to. So, essentially we decided not to attend this year based on a decision um, that we didn't agree with. Uh, which was the uninviting of someone who's been a very positive influence for the event and for the scene up here in, in the Shire. Uh, but moving on, and speaking or writing of Ian, it was just so silly that he had 40 plus electronic equipment, computer, SD card, etc. stolen. Obviously silly isn't as accurate as wrong. And uh, last Sunday, the 20th of March, uh, some folks wearing badges visited Ian Freeman's residence in the Free Talk Live studios in Keene, New Hampshire and uh, stole a bunch of property. Um, some information about that is at freekeen.com as well as copblock.org. A demo did a post. And then I said, it's been nice to see the support for him and FTL LRN, both vocal and financial, to obtain replacement gear. So again, this is just speaks to the networks that exist when we... and. Uh, how we can look out for each other. Most definitely you're being kept away from others caged because your captors don't want those also caged many for victimless acts to be exposed to your ideas. In uh, Dio's response to me to my first letter uh, I learned that Dio was being sort of segregated from other people in the in the jail and uh, frequently had to sell toss and things like that so I was just telling them it's not surprising um, because they might not want to go along with a I got caught justification or rationalization but would see through the facade the great fiction which is a reference to Frederick Bastiat if you're familiar that justice can come from an institution founded on coercion and really it's just the widespread acceptance of that in, of the inverse that law quote unquote can come and does come from a committee or a stranger with a fancy title. It reminds me of a graphic slash meme that shows one matchstick vertical and a light in front of dozens of other vertical but unlit matchsticks. But of course, ideas are moot without action, and when you are the blade of grass that sticks up when others bend and bow, it's not surprising that those who rely on the threat or application of force wet it out. Stay strong, trust yourself, much love.